give me a happy marriage. That prayer cannot be answered. I'm not cursing anybody. The prayer can only be answered when you have done what you should do. God will not do. You can't ask God in prayer to do what he has already commanded you to do. If you have just two fish and five loaves of bread plus God, it will be, it will be enough, it will, there will be left over. But if you have 5,000 loaves of bread minus God, you'll be surprised that it's not enough. I don't know if you have met people who are making more money than you, but they don't even enjoy their life like you. I have met people like that. And they look like you, they look at you like you are even making more money. But you are not really making over half of what they are making. I have a friend who complains all the time, complains all the time. And in this conversation with me, he will say, hey, somebody gave him this. I said, do you know this figure you are mentioning? I've never seen it before in my life. <laughs> he said, you are lying. I said, ah, well. I said, you will not believe. Because five loaves of bread with God will be more than enough. Are you getting what I'm saying? But 5,000 loaves of bread minus God, it will not be enough. Because he's the one who makes all things beautiful. In his time. It is his blessing that makes rich and does not add sorrow to it. I will say, I need God. Shout, I need God. If you are confronted in 2021 with strong, 1,000 strong men, like Daniel, sorry, like, uh, like uh, Samson was confronted by 5,000, five, by 1,000 strong men. If you are confronted by 1,000 strong men, if all you have is a jawbone with God, you are okay. If all you have Samson used ordinary jawbone to kill 1,000 soldiers that are carrying weapons because God was on his side. Because if God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 31. Who can be against us? Everybody say, I need God. Say, God, I need you. A boy, 17-year-old boy, in 4 Samuel chapter 17. Oh, sorry, 16-year-old boy. In 4 Samuel chapter 17, David Without a sword, without, without nothing, with ordinary five species of stone and a sling, he slain an experienced warrior. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 50, the Bible says, And David prevailed against Goliath with a sling and a stone. He said, But there was no sword in his hand. I like that place. 1 Samuel, Samuel 17, 50. Look at it. So David prevailed over the Philistines with a sling. And he stone and struck the Philistines and killed him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. No sword, but there was God. <laughs> God plus a sling and a stone. Whew, victory. Goliath carried sword. Carried everything. He even had somebody who carried extra weapon for him. He's a he, he still had to go down. He still had to go down. Shout, I need God. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't, look, you don't need Jonah. I told you, bad, bad influence can destroy destiny. Because of one Jonah in their boat, there was trouble. They packaged him, carried him, and threw him into the sea. What happened? Huh? The, the sea calmed down. I told us in second service, some sea does not need prayer to calm down. They just need decision. Decision to cut off from some people. Some bad associations. That decision, you just see some sin just come down your life. I discovered this truth as a boy that was just leaving university in 1995. My mother is an evangelist. She has spoken to me about this subject. I didn't listen to her. Because I was a type in the past who everybody that likes me, I like, everybody can be my friend. You know, once you are... I had long chains of friends. That my house, my father's house, not my house, my father's house, I use the sitting room more than the owner of the sitting room. They used to excuse for my friends when they were my friend. <laughs> because they just keep coming. Once I'm around, they just keep coming. That's the guy. <laughs> and my mother will call me and minister to me that it's good, but you see, you need quality friends. It's not number. It is quality you need. And I will argue with that because I was so inexperienced. Then something happened to me in 1995. I learned in a hard way. 
That's when I wrote that book. You know when you learn, you write. Uh, lesson comes from, I wrote the book, The Way to the Top in Life. One of the chapters there says, your company will determine your destiny. It's from experience. Because my company was destroying my destiny around that period. And God had to remove me from some people. There are people, if your dream will come to pass in 2021, they have to be far from you. It's not fighting, no. but they have to be far from you. Then you now need God. One Jesus was enough in their boat to steal the storm. Am I not correct? Just one Jesus. Bible says they were traveling. Jesus was fast asleep in the most affected place. And they rushed to him and said, Jesus, don't you care that we die? Thank God Jesus was in that boat. What about if Jesus was not in that boat? You need Jesus in your boat in 2021. Don't sail until he's there. Moses said, we will not go anywhere unless you go with us. Abi? Moses said, look, we want to be free, fine. But this freedom must be plus you. We want to be blessed, but this blessing must be plus you. Want to go on that journey, but you have to be there. Moses said, if you're not going, let us remain slaves here. We're better. Are you hearing me? Until he gets into your boat, please don't sail yet. You need God. What about if Jesus was not in that boat? Who will they wake up? They're on their own. What about John chapter 2? When they were having their wedding and Jesus was invited and there was no way and the wine finished, there was no way they could buy more wine. And the mother of Jesus said, I have a son who can help. May you always have the right people in the right place in your life. What about if Jesus was not invited to that wedding? It's possible. What about if he was not invited? What will have happened? Oh, what will have happened is that they will just, they have guests to be stranded. They will be stranded. They will go home. They will close the party. But thank God that they had Jesus. You need Jesus in your post. You need Jesus in your party. You need Jesus in your life. You need him to be the first and the last. You need him to be the alpha and be the what? The beginning and be the what? The first and be the what? That's what, he needs to be everything. You need him. Everybody say, I need him. Gideon was about to go and fight a battle with 33,000 people. And God said, they are too much. These people are not, reduce them to, he reduced them to 300. 300 plus God, the job was done. Is it not the job to be done? Is it not better for the job to be done? Many years ago, our church, I'm talking about almost 10 years plus ago, we had 14 full-time staffs. We we're running three services in an estate. 14 paid full-time staffs. Today, our church is times, maybe times five of that size. Yet, we have just five staffs. Do you see the difference? Five staffs. And we're making more impact. Is it no better? Many of you just like crowd, 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 crowd. That doesn't make sense. It is on social media you need like followership. In your inner circle, no matter how few they are, it's better. I'm talking about inner circle this, evening, this morning. Then you need God to be part of that circle. If God is not in that circle, that circle is not complete. James chapter 1 verse 17. He said, all good gifts and perfect gifts come from above. From the Father of light. It comes from where? Above. If you know what God is going to do in the equation of your life, if it gets in place, if you know what God will do, you'll be surprised. You think your life is scattered that nobody can arrange it. God can arrange it. He held all things together by the word of his power. He can. There is nothing difficult for him. Luke 1, 37. He said, he said, for with me, nothing shall be impossible. In Matthew 18, he said, for with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. With God. That was it, I need with. You see, that with God, you need it. You need to partner with God in 2021. Let me read the place to us in Psalm 75, verse 6 to 7. Psalm 75, verse 6 to 7. I'm going to round off now. I know I have taken, we have taken so much time. Psalm 75, verse 6 and 7. He said, for exhortation, that's promotion, comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. He said promotion doesn't come from any of these places. The next verse. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts one. God is the one who raises people up. He's the one who puts men down. One says he's the one that kill it and make it alive. You need that personality in your team. 
this year. Praise God. Let's read 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 7 to 8. Quickly. 1 Samuel chapter 2. That's the last scripture we're reading for today. Verse 7 to 8. The Lord make poor and what? And makes rich. He brings low and lift up. Verse 8. He raises the poor from the dust and lift up the beggar from the ash heap to set them among princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillar of the heart are the Lord's. The pillar of the heart. The person who owns all the pillars of the world partner with him. What is the pillar of the heart? The thing that is making this world run. Let me say this. The Wall Street is not the determinant of the world economy. I'm sure by now we should know. Coronavirus should teach us. Because when coronavirus came, when COVID-19 came, the Wall Street could not do anything about it. They had to shut down the Wall Street. You know the Wall Street? Uh -huh. Where people thought that's where everything is being decided. God still rules in the affairs of men. In case you did not hear anything since I've been preaching, please hear this one before you go. God still rules in the affairs of men. He is the one that is in charge. I'm serious. The modern days makes us believe God is not in the equation again. It, coronavirus has come to let us know God is still in charge. America thought they are the one in charge. Oh, the last four years and now they know that God is in charge. <laughs> he sits at the circle of the heart and makes the heart his full stool. Who can stand before his indignation? Who can bear the heat of his anger? He is the first, he is the last. He is the beginning, he is the end. He is a alpha, he is a omega. He was not voted into office, he doesn't have tenor. They ask him, how old are you? He said, from everlasting to everlasting, I am God. That's his tenor. You know, Buhari's tenor, they say 2015 to 2023. I mean, every president has that. Even if, you, even, if, even if you are King Fad, you know King Fad, or, or King of Brunei, where people just inherit throne, your tenor will always be from so-so date to so-so date. Abby, every human king, dead and alive, their tenor has date. The beginning date, the ending date. If they don't remove you, death can remove you. Abby? But for God, when was his starting one? Everlasting. When will it end? Everlasting. So in Psalm 90 verse 2, he said, from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. You need him. If you get such personality into your circle, this year will be better than last, next, last year. A young girl in this church tried to be a pilot. It didn't work out. Did everything. She did the first part. She can fly a private jet, but she can't fly a commercial uh, a plane. And she needed to do part two to fly the commercial plane. But there's no money to do it. She did everything. Nothing happened. 2019, December, she, was a, she sat outside in a crossover service. She shared in her testimony that she told God, I have tried on my own. It did not work. But this year, I hand over to you. December 31st, 2019. She said she told God, God, this year, I won't call whoever you didn't ask me to call. I won't go to places you didn't ask me to go. I have, I'm handing over to you. Me, I have tried now. It's not working. For almost five years. You too try. <laughs> since I have tried it didn't work let's see what you can do with it and 2020 God made the way the same year God made the way today she's in the US she's in the place of her dream going for the things she wants to pursue will you let God this year or do you want to do it again like you did it last year may I have come to a point as a pastor it is God. It is what he wants, I want. What he doesn't want, I don't want. Coronavirus taught me a lesson. That's why if you notice, the way we raise offering, collect offering now, in our church, normally we don't put pressure on money. It's our, in our tradition. But if you look at the way we are doing it after coronavirus, it's even so soft. We don't even care about that. There's no pressure anywhere. You know why? Because it is God that is financing this work. 
There is no amount of preaching that can make people give what they didn't plan to give. <laughs> there is no amount of, you can eat your head on the altar as a pastor. He has made up his mind before he left the house that today I'm not giving a dime. So if you like, sweat, jump up and down. You say, Bo, when you are true, I will come. <laughs> so why do you want to kill yourself? Me, I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> because you see, even what people give, it is God. It is God who puts in the heart of people and say, give. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So there's no point trying to do some extra, do up and down, do gymnastic and roll your head. And, I don't want to die. <laughs> Let the person that is in charge do the job. Why just? If we allow God this year, you will enjoy success without stress. Ah, you will enjoy victory without labor. You will have victory where you have not fought. He said to the people of Israel, he said, you will not need to fight. You will not need to fight. But you have victory without. He said, except the Lord watch over the city, they labor in vain that watches. 